GraphQL, a query language for reading and mutating data in APIs. As a backend developer, GraphQL provides a type system where you can describe a schema for your data. In turn, this gives front-end consumers of the API the power to explore and request the exact data they need. Traditionally, web developers have consumed APIs using REST, where data entities live on a bunch of URLs on a server. When a request is received, the API responds with the full data payload of that entity. That sounds simple enough, but there are two potential drawbacks here. We may need multiple entities at one time, in which case each request is underfetching the actual data we want. In other cases, we may only want a small subset of a data entity, in which case we need to overfetch from the API. And that, of course, is bad for the environment. How dare you! Instead of multiple URLs, a GraphQL API has a single entry point. Data is queried or fetched by describing it with a syntax that mirrors its return shape in JSON. The front-end developer describes the data they want, while the back-end developer writes code to resolve the request. And it all happens in a syntax that can work with any programming language. We can start defining a schema with our own custom objects using the type keyword. A type can have multiple fields, like a unique ID, and we'll make that required with a bang. Let's also give it integer and string values, then create a relationship with another type. A creator can have many videos, which we can represent by wrapping the type in brackets. On the flip side, a video belongs to a creator. Now, every GraphQL API has a query type, which is the main entry point for a consumer of the API. We can query a list of videos or an individual user based on their ID. That's how a consumer reads data, but they may also want to mutate data, in which case we implement a mutation type that defines how data can be modified on the API. From there, we can define code to resolve this data in any programming language. Once deployed, any developer consuming this API will be able to explore it with a complete understanding of all possible queries and data entities, which means the tooling can autocomplete your query as you type it out in your editor. This has been GraphQL in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications because there is a lot more on the way. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.